It's your 76 Agri Boss here today again, guys. It's a lovely tropical day, guys. Definitely. So, we have this nice banana variety here, guys. You can guess this one. Take a good look at it. Super, guys. It's a lovely tropical day, isn't it? Do a little video, guys. Most likely, gonna show you some trees, some tropical trees, some fruit trees, some exotic trees, and our nursery, guys. That's very verse and diversify guys, full of plants and lush green vegetation all over guys. So we're gonna go through and scour through our orchards and see what tropical fruits we can find and what plants we can have for our video on display guys. So definitely want to stick and stay for this one. So yes guys, so if you are not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. This is our strawberry guava, Sigium cataleum, very nice interested guava, so a sweet contrast. And here is our fijo, our pineapple guava also. And uh, this right here is our PK variety, PK1, and naysberry, very nice, very sweet, very low to the ground as well. I always don't get the chance to get any naysberry from that tree guys. Here we have a loquat that's in the pot. Loquat trees are very adaptable tree guys. It can grow in a very small space and still produces a lot. This one is just over 5 feet guys and it has produced a lot of fruits there. As I make my way to the lemon drop tree and then to the achacharu tree guys yes this is coming into season you know this is one of my favorite fruit guys so nice so sweet see we have some circumposed one on here so we're gonna try an experiment to see if we can get some air layers going see we have some nice blossoms coming up so I'm expecting this to be little as usual as the Garcinians are very prolific plants. So this is an excellent time to go to make our way across to our sweet tamarind guys. Hello, hello, anybody home? We don't see any birds there. These are the sweetest tamarinds ever guys, even the ones that are not so ripe, it's absolutely beautiful. And this right here is our abu, abu fruit, naysberry, star apple taste, it's very beautiful guys. And we are setting up our fly traps, our pheromone traps guys, and this attract the males and catches them poor male species guys oh my god but such is life i guess it's a drawback we have to live with it as i make my way over to the jackfruit guys the jackfruit tree which is coming into fruiting soon as well so this summer will definitely be hype guys and this right here is our rollinia So you have the snake fruit here and this is the female tree right there and here over this side with no thorns or very little thorns are the male tree guys so these are this male tree is responsible for pollinating the female so it can fruit, so we have a little fruit there. As the birds are chirping in the background guys. And this is our, one of our most prolific trees here on the farm. And it produces loads of fruits within its season guys. In different stages and phases. Our star fruit, sweet caramboda guys. 
yes this one always produces a lot and this is our macadamia nut it's an hybrid variety can't wait for this one to start fruiting and produces a lot of nuts so we can consume and this is our mango we have in a great mango season so we are looking forward to the mango season guys so that's why we set the traps all over the premises so we can definitely get some good eating mango this year this is our jaboti cava here or the brazilian grape they're absolutely slow growing guys they take years to reach this level where they're at now so hopefully we can get some fruit there we have another low quad tree over this side so we just build through the archer and have the guys cut the, the wisps that are overtaking the trees we have yet another tambourine tambourine is a super fruit guys packs with vitamins and minerals of all different kinds of sort guys so definitely is a nice fruit to have it's a must have we have the guanabana right beside that our guinep fruit here it is guys so i'm gonna make my way through the orchard and show some more displaying some more fruit varieties that we have here on the farm this is a dwarf cashew this tree grows this tree produces a lot of fruit guys within its season and it has a span of even 40 feet cross in diameter guys so it covers a large space but it doesn't grow vertically it doesn't grow much vertically guys so that that is a good thing so you won't have to go very far to harvest the fruits from this so i'll be definitely roasting some cashew this year and making some cashew porridge guys definitely soup and some punches very nice for the channel and this is the pond apple generally this doesn't taste really well guys but i'm trying to experiment to see if if we i could get some grafted something grafted on it maybe a cherry moya maybe a timoya maybe some rollinias or so so gonna see how that experiment works out yes and this is the other naysberry this is a alano type so there's five other types on the farm this is the alano type here with the white flesh inside we also have the martin which those three don't grow vertically but they spread horizontally guys so it covers a little nice diameter space and the fruits just hang right under the tree guys just like that so easy to pick so easy to harvest and i'm picking up a scent somewhere guys this is really nice should be eating some fruits pretty soon this type is one of the vertical type this is the gonzalez variety of naysberry and it tends to go up a little further than the previous varieties that i've showed that i've displayed and this is a super sweet variety though very sugary rich taste in naysberry this one the here the limb torn down last season because of the amount of fruits that was on here yes guys so i made my way through the cocoa orchard we have approximately 80 acres of cocoa that we use to make the chocolate some people know it as chocolate but that's like calling the cow milk really the cocoa pods is what produces the chocolate so we have different varieties and types the criollos forestarios and trinistarios varieties on the farm so thanks for watching guys 